could you just give them a little taste against the 1619 mm. Project, <laughs> critical race theory, yep. wokeness? What is the true history of the U.S.? Yeah, so, so first of all, the fact that uh, people would argue in critical race theory, uh, what we are literally teaching in many public schools in America is that if, if, if you are white, you were part of the oppressive class. And if you are not white, then you are part of the oppressed class. So you have oppressors and oppressed. The reality is if you back up in history, there's no doubt America had slavery, just like every other nation in the history of the world. However, when you say everyone who was white was an oppressor, you're discounting the fact that when you look at America, at the peak of slavery in America, you, you had less than 20% of Americans who actually owned slaves. And actually that number is significantly less. It's like 10, 11, 12%. But the point is, it's a very small percentage of Americans that actually own slaves. And I know some people say, yes, but much of America benefited from slavery. The point is, we're saying that all white people were evil because slavery one, at one time existed in this nation. There's a lot of context being left out, but let's, let's go even further. When the argument is that America was founded to promote slavery, that's historically inaccurate on lots of levels. If you actually go back and read the Declaration of Independence, but read Thomas Jefferson's original draft of the Declaration. In the original draft, the longest grievance in the original draft was a grievance where Jefferson criticized the slave trade and actually criticized the king for promoting the slave trade. And Jefferson said that we want to end the slave trade and the king has struck down all our laws. And actually he says that this king has enslaved these men. And when he said men, he fully capitalized the word men, capital M, capital E, capital N. Wow. The only other word fully capitalized in that entire draft of the declaration was United States of America. The title of our nation was the only other thing fully capitalized. What happened is Jefferson was identifying this, the humanity of the Africans being brought to America as slaves. And he pointed out the king has struck down our laws. We try to stop this. There were multiple states that actually passed laws trying to end the slave trade in their states, trying to end slavery in their states. And the king in 1774 struck down all those laws saying you can't end slavery. You're, you're part of the British system. That's why we have slaves. It's a British colony. When this happened in Pennsylvania, for example, in 1774, when this was struck down, Benjamin Franklin was one of many individuals in Pennsylvania, but a noted founding father, Benjamin Franklin, said, well, this is one more reason we should separate from Great Britain because the king won't even let us end slavery in our own colony.